Hey guys, it's Duchess. So today I'm very excited because I finished this house, which has been a long time coming. I've actually ha been having a lot of issues with um, Sims 4 and Origin um, on my computer where it wouldn't start up um, or it was like I had to log into Origin in order to get the Sims 4 to start up, but then Origin wasn't showing up for me and then I just had to do like repairs and then I eventually just like deleted Origin and redownloaded it. And then obviously when you have to redownload Origin, um, it'll have to like, I guess, update your files or like redownload your game files, which for me takes a really long time because I have all of the packs except for the um, Star Wars pack and obviously I don't have the upcoming expansion pack yet. So it takes a long time because there's so many um, packs that need to download. Plus, I created this family many months ago um, and I ignored building the house because I wanted to do a really good job with it because of the way I set up this family. Um, so I personally really love lore. Um, I got into the the sims series i guess you can call it about a year ago um i've been playing different forms of the sims for a while just never the computer slash console games and so i kind of missed out um being a part of the community with all the bell goth lore and stuff like that i have watched plumbella's um series on like different families in the sims and like all of their lore and stuff like that so i really love doing things like that um so i did that for The Sims because I am currently rebuilding every single lot um, in The Sims 4 just because I feel like it. <laughs> and so um, I decided to kind of create my own lore because that's not really present in The Sims 4. Um, it's not really connected that much to um, The Sims 1, Sims 2, and Sims 3. So um, here, this is the Moonfall family's house, um, Moonfall Manor, the Moonfall Estate, whatever you want to call it. Um, and there's only three sims, you can kind of see them in the front. There's only three sims living here, plus a black cat. Um, their names are Lenora, Erolis, and Marin. And, um, basically this is how the story goes. So the first person is Lenora Moonfall. Lenora Moonfall comes from a very large, ancient vampire family. The Moonfall name is really powerful. It strikes fear into people's hearts. When you think Moonfall, you think of vampires in this family specifically and Lenora lived for a really really long time she's very very old as can be seen by the fact that she is an adult um, vampires live a very long time and so they age a lot differently so for example Vlad he is a vampire and he's like a couple hundred years old however he's only a young adult which means that Lenora Moonfall has been around for so long because she is a fully fledged adult um so Lenora kind of you know was this really evil bad vampire and she decided to have children she had actually two girls one um, was Aerolis who is another vampire and her other daughter which I will get into in a different video because like I said um, I really got into lore and this lore doesn't just connect to the vampires but it also connects to spellcasters so Lenora had um, a spellcaster daughter and a vampire daughter um, and her vampire daughter, Erolis, followed in her mother's footsteps. She was um, an evil vampire, not necessarily super evil. Um, she was just kind of like a bad person in general, she, like mean, a snob, stuff like that. And Erolis had a daughter and then her daughter got married and then the two of them had a daughter. Um, and then I'm pretty sure the two of them had Marin. So Marin is fourth or fifth generation, I can't remember specifically, but Aerolis's daughter, she decided that she wanted to turn over a new leaf for vampirism. Basically, Aerolis's husband, I forget his first name, um, but his last name is Lycanth. Um, he was a good vampire and he thought that he could help change Aerolis and help change the Moonfall family name, but that wasn't really going to happen. And so their daughter decided that she was just going to be a nice vampire. And so when she got married, 
to her wife. They kept the Lycanth name in order to make sure that the Moonfall name left out of existence. And their daughter was also a really nice vampire. They didn't turn anybody without asking. They didn't suck people's blood without asking. Um, and they were just genu genuinely nice people. They didn't have any mean traits or snob traits or anything like that. But then we're about four generations down and then Marin is born. And Marin, she didn't really like the life that her parents and her grandparents were leading. She wanted to become a master vampire and she wanted to be the most vampire the most vampire what she wanted to be the most evil vampire that ever existed even more so than her great 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 i'm pretty sure that's how many great grandmother lenora and so she decided to drop the lycanth name and she took on the moonfall name and she knew that um all of her family that was still alive was kind of standing in her way so she devised I guess it's an evil plan, it's kind of a lame plan, but basically their family always goes out at night, obviously because they're th vampires and they don't like sun, they could die by the sun. Um, so their family went out one night and she had Aerolis and Lenora go back to the house early and lock all the doors. And like I said, Marin wants to become a master vampire. And so she had a lot of powers that were higher than the rest of her family members. So she was able to travel by bat into the house where all the doors were locked from the outside. And so because of this, all of her family got locked out of the house except for Lenora and Aerolis. And morning was coming and they all died by the sun. And so um, I kind of wrote like, um, I didn't kind of, I wrote a little blurb that if you play The Sims 4, you know that townies that come with the, or not townies necessarily, but just the Sims family that own lots um, that come with the game, they will have their own little family blurb. And so I wrote one for all of my families. And this one has it written that the rest of the family mysteriously died, but it was Lenora and Aerolis and Marin's doing, they locked them out of the house so that they would die so that um, the Moonfall family could rise to power once again. So that's like the little lore that I have for this family. Lenora is an adult, Aerolis is a young adult, and Marin is a teenager. Um, so she's pretty old herself but still a young vampire, I guess, because she is a teenager. Um, and then one thing that's interesting is that Lenora and Aerolis, because they were super evil vampires, basically their dark form was completely tied to their normal form. But because Marin's parents were nice vampires, their dark forms were not tied to their regular forms. So Lenora actually has two forms. She has her regular human looking form and she has her dark form. Um, but she always stays in her dark form because that is the most scary when you are a vampire. So yeah, that is the part one, I guess, of the lore. Like I said, um, Lenora had two daughters, one that ended up being a spellcaster. So their fa a spellcaster family is tied to this family and vice versa. And so that relationship is really interesting. Um, but that is for another day. So I was really excited with this house because I really like a dark aesthetic. Personally, I'm very girly. I wear a lot of pink and I love wearing skirts and dresses and I like frills and bows. I'm just like very stereotypically girly, but I wear stuff like that and I like stuff like that because it makes me happy and whatnot. But if I'm being honest, it doesn't really fit me <laughs> that much because I'm pretty tall, I'm 5'9", and I have a really bad RBF. And so most of my friends will tell me that they thought I was really intimidating when they first met me, despite the fact that I was probably wearing like a really frilly dress or something like that. And so a darker aesthetic really fits me. Um, sometimes if I'm doing my makeup, I'll do it a bit darker. Um, so I really do like that aesthetic. I just don't choose to do it personally, but I think that's why I had so much fun building this. I also have a tendency to use a bunch of packs, which I know is really annoying. When I first got The Sims, I wasn't a builder at all, but before I used to be really bad. I didn't know how to roof. I Building house shapes was really weird, but I was really good at interior designing. I actually wanted to be an interior designer for a really long time. I'm not pursuing that now. I'm a music student, but I really wanted to be an interior designer. So what I would do is I would just download houses off of the gallery and then I would renovate the insides of them. And I would get really annoyed when there were really gorgeous houses that used a bunch of packs because I had base game for, I want to say four or five months before I bought a single pack. So for the longest time, I 
could only download just base game houses and there can be some really good base game houses there are really good ba base game houses but a lot of the houses that i personally liked had all the packs so i do feel bad for doing that but i think usually when i am building especially with a cult i'll try to stick to that pack because it fits the occult sim so it's kind of weird if you have like i don't know for example if you had a whole bunch of stuff um, from City Living and then it was like a vampire, that doesn't really fit the aesthetic, especially with the Moonfall slash Lycanth family. So um, I stuck mostly with the um, vampire pack. As you can see, I do have a couple of spellcaster things because those are like whimsical, magical, occult things as well, so it fits in. But this house is basically all um, base game and va uh, vampires. So I think that's one of the reasons why I had fun with it. Also, um, when I get to the exterior, you'll see what I'm talking about, but I had a lot of fun looking up um, gothic and Victorian houses to get the shape because that kind of fits with the vampire um, aesthetic and the rest of the houses um, in this world are kind of fashioned off of that. And so I actually cut this out for time because it was really unnecessary, but the house had a completely different shape originally and then I just bulldozed it and I started over. And this is the shape that I have now and I really really love it. I just think it fits um, the vampire world super well. And yeah, the, the inside of the house um, in terms of the shape doesn't really fit the Victorian slash gothic build style I guess. I kind of just went with whatever I felt like <laughs> because I didn't really know how to start it. But we have three bedrooms, one for each of the vampire ladies living here. Blue is Aerolis, um, red is Lenora, and purple is Marin. And then we have a living room, a sitting room, plus like a little crevice for the organ. We have a dining room, a kitchen, and then there's an attic, which I don't show myself building because it's very basic. There's two rooms in the attic, they're, and they're both for the cat. <laughs> so one room has the cat bed, and that's literally all that's in there. And then the other room has a cat tree and a couch. Um, there's also a cat tree um, down in the sitting room because I think... I don't know, I thought just thought it was funny that like these three women are super powerful, they're super powerful um, vampires, and they're really evil, but then they like really love their cat, <laughs> and they have a whole bunch of stuff for their cat. And if you look at the relationships that they have um, with the rest of their family members, even though they're dead, all of them are red because they hated all of them, and their relationship with the Diamond slash Reinhardt family, which is the Spellcaster family that they're related to, they're, all their relationships are red as well because they just hate everyone and they think that they're better than everyone, but they really love their cat. I just, for whatever reason, I've really been in the Halloween mood. I personally have never really celebrated Halloween. Um, my older sister and then my three younger siblings have all gone trick-or-treating before and drunk or treating but I've never done that because my parents never took me. And then by the time I was old enough to take myself, it was kind of like nobody really went trick-or-treating. It's more like Halloween parties and I'm not really a party person, um, but I have dressed up for Halloween before. So yeah. But it, I, I don't know, I just thought it was interesting that I was in such a Halloween mood, especially since like we're still semi-quarantined. My school, my university is all online, um, so I haven't really left the house, but, and I haven't done anything Hall or fall related, um, but I was just really in the mood to build this house and I think it turned out fantastic. I'm super happy how it turned out. I'm so excited to like play in this too. Um, and like kind of build on the lore that I've created. I haven't really created much lore for um, mermaids yet. I haven't really touched Sulani in terms of building, so I'm not really sure how that's going to turn out, but I'm really excited about spellcasters um, because I love magic and stuff like that. Huge Harry Potter fan, of course, um, and I got really inspired to do vampires one day which is how we got the moon family um or um i'm sorry the moonfall family the moonfall and the lycanth family so right here i grabbed some trees out of debug um i use organized debug which is a mod that i'll link below because it is super fantastic it organizes debug for you um and yeah i'm just putting the finishing touches adding some spooky trees to the outside I usually do a lot more landscaping, but I decided to keep it simple, keep it spooky. I also think that, at least for vampires, it could be a bit more minimalistic when it comes to landscaping. Um, I usually like to use a lot of flowers and stuff like that, 
but you know this is the forgotten hollow so things aren't as floral and um, are more dead and whatnot so I think it fits a lot better so um, I'm about to switch out one of the trees at the front because I wanted the tree to be different and then we're gonna move into doing a little path light up into the house and then we move into pictures I love the way that the pictures look it makes it seem like you're actually in the room um, and you see things from your sims perspective and I just love the dark look the way the decorations look it's not as cluttered or anything but I don't think it needs to be because I think these ladies are super neat super cool super evil so I hope you guys have liked watching my build as much as I liked making it have a good day